So what I, uh, I came to at some point um, in my time here <laughs> is that the, the ideas and the things that were on my mind that were forming this project, they're enormous. Yeah. And the longer I sat with them, the more difficult it was becoming to make work about them. Yeah. Uh, that it all seemed, it seemed impossible. And like you were saying before, it was just failure is built <laughs> into a project like this. Yeah. And so, uh, but that's when I just said, well, I'm here. I just need to just start to start to get clear on just these ideas of complexity and density and just the, the interconnectedness of these all these systems that we have been building yeah. you know uh, systemic racism systemic uh, rampant capitalism you know all those all these climate things issues. climate is a huge one yeah and that how they you cannot pull them apart Right. That's what I keep coming back to. Is you right. cannot address one without beginning to see its connections to the others. Yeah. You know? And right. and that makes it <laughs> you know, exponentially <laughs> yeah. more difficult and challenging to, to do it. And sometimes is is stifling. Yeah. Which was a, being reflected in my own process. Yeah. And then it was like yeah, you're I like, can't I can't even, even make work about yeah. this stuff. Yeah. And so, ultimately, I don't think making these drawings solves any of those problems. Right. But it's, I'd like but to think it's a... you're kind of opening a, a conversation yeah. to it. Yeah. It, it, it's a little tiny drop in a bigger ocean of conversations mm -hmm. that I think are helping to shape a larger conversation that is creating a lot of real action and that's yeah. I think um, sometimes all you can hope for from a from an object yeah, you gotta have these conversations right yes yeah I think so which is not an easy thing anymore yeah you're, I feel like a lot of the time we're having conversations with people that we already agree with I did this project called Amazon God and I looked on Amazon books, um, uh, root searched for the term God in books, because mm -hmm. I thought looking at that would be a reflection of the culture's perception of God and how yeah. we define God. And so anyway, um, I made this series of drawings based on that. And at the opening, I remember people coming up to me who had very strong feelings about God, right? Either they were somebody who was um, religious in some way, mm -hmm. and then there were people who were sort of skeptical about God. Yeah. And both <laughs> of those people saw something in the work that resonated with their own point of view. Oh, and yeah. Then, and in a way, I wasn't sure what to make of that. Yeah. But at some level, I kind of thought that that was something positive about that. Oh, whoa. Oh, wow. Is this part of um, this other series? Well, I guess it's all part of the system failure series, yeah? Yes, they're all kind of related in, in that way. And I haven't fully comprehended this yet, but the, the, the kind of density is something I keep thinking about. Have you always been thinking about these really big topics in your artwork? Uh, systemic failures? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Um, like, obviously, this conversation about system failure is big. Uh, Afraid of facts. <laughs> this is very um, exposing. <laughs> We're really digging around in your underwear drawer right now. I know, that's really how it feels. Although, it actually feels worse. <laughs> digging around in my brain. Uh, 
how this thing going back to the the white noise. Yeah. Thing, this is the one I thought uh, looks more like that. Yeah. There's some idea out there that the the something in the signal is um, like coming from outer space. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> There's something about that. I'm I'm mangling it now. I love that idea that space is always just kind of making a noise and we're picking up on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially with these kind of skipping mm -hmm. moments in here, yeah. yeah. It's really difficult to make that happen. Yeah. It's kind of just an accident. Because I really like that too about it. And the pen really controls <laughs> some things. Yeah. I was trying to make every these are done with a straight edge, and so trying to make each line as close to the previous line as possible. Is this one pass? Like you, this is yeah. just one layer. Yeah. yeah. Wow. A multiplicity of mistakes. Oh, I love that. That does really work with this piece. <laughs> so I'm kind of imagining now with that title that each line is a mistake. Mm -hmm. and that you're repeating it over and over and it's making its own pattern. I love it. <laughs> and also, I mean, if we want to drill down into the sort of process kind of things, yeah. um, I think also like making these, I always set out to make every line perfect. Yeah. Any, you know, the alignment of one line to the next the spacing, all of that to be perfect, Yeah, but it's impossible. I think about that all the time. I'm always like, I'm going to leave room for mistakes. I'm going to be looser in this artwork. And then the second I make a mistake, I'm like, ah, not that way. I want to make a mistake I was controlling. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. Um, going off course, making mistakes, all of those things are inevitable. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, um, it's, uh, I think, just a necessity. A multiplicity of mistakes just seem to make sense with uh, our history. <laughs> you know, the yeah. history of America is a multiplicity of mistakes. I mean, yes, there's a lot of depressing things about the world, but I think calling them out uh, is, this, is a necessity. Yeah. And if we just kind of think, Right. It's like, that's the worst. Yeah, and and that um, you were saying that, yeah, artists have this um, ability to imagine the world differently. Mm -hmm. And like, the ability mm -hmm. to even uh, be the fish that can see the water kind of a thing. <laughs> right. well, yeah. I don't know if that's, I mean, a lot of, a lot of people are seeing the water. Yeah, um, yeah. But I think sometimes just reflecting something is necessary. Yeah. I want to geek out about this setup that you have too. This is amazing. Oh. <laughs> this is so genius. You think? Yes. These little magnets. Yeah. You don't have to worry about tape. Yeah, that's that was a huge breakthrough in my life. I love um, this. But, and then also the being able to have light come through the back has just been useful for me. In some, in oh yeah, did you use this as like a light table? I never would have thought to come here for that kind of percolating time, the mm -hmm. time when you're trying to figure things out. And I think that's what you were saying you're doing with this is like, you haven't quite wrapped your head around what you're mm -hmm. making yet. Mm -hmm. And it was, um, it was really intimidating to be alone with that time and not have any distractions. It's, it's so old. nice that, that Tucson Tech yeah. valued that and said yeah. that that counts, you know? I would say half my time was not spent drawing. Yeah. It was spent just reading and staring out the window and mm -hmm. walking mm -hmm. at the lake. And so um, that has been incredibly joyous <laughs> and wonderful. Yeah. You know?